The first time we noticed the large black cat was walking along the land opposite us. Uh, when we first saw it, it was carrying something the size of a lamb and it was uh, nearly a foot off the ground from the angle we were facing. Um, we didn't sort of pay too much attention to it initially because it, nature sort of says that they, they stay away from humans, they try to avoid confrontation. It was only when I took the dogs out into the garden on the Thursday night when Marley was doing his border patrols as usual, making sure his family and his home were safe, that uh, he suddenly went down to the ground. And he came back over before I had a chance to fully finish calling him. His tail was between his legs. I knew something was up instantly, so I got him straight back inside along with Maisie here. And that was when we noticed that his front left leg was absolutely covered in blood and he had some deep gashes in the front of his leg and in between his toes. The following morning after the incident we, we ran out into the garden to see if there were any sort of traces of what had happened last night. It was then that we discovered some large paw prints in an area of the fence that was slightly down. We contacted the police and the RSPCA who came out to the property and they took plaster casts of the prints and confirmed that it was in fact a big cat after sending it off for analysis. Paw prints were measuring four and a half inches wide and they were all the way around the boundary of the garden. The wounds are healing nicely on Marley, but the emotional damage he suffered from it is quite sincere. He's, um, he's struggling with going out in the garden at night and normally that was one of his favourite things to do. He, he finds it very difficult to enjoy it in the way he used to and there's certain areas of the garden he won't go near anymore.